I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL380 Gen 11 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on Rails and how to rack your server. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL380 Gen 11 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's hop in. Uh, this video is going to be specifically dedicated to how to rack your DL380 Gen 11 server, and we're going to show you the specific rails that you're going to use and how to put it into a rack. So that's what's going to happen in this video. So the types of rails that, or the type of rail that you're going to use is an HP ProLiant DL 3XX easy install rail number three kit. And that's gonna basically have uh, two inners that you're gonna put onto the, the server first. And then you're gonna take the outers, we're gonna put them into the rack, and then we're just gonna simply slide the server right in. So let's go ahead and show you how to put the inners on to start. All right, so let's get started with putting the inners on first. So when you look at your inners, you're gonna have one side that has these two points on it, and then one side that's nice and flush. The two points are gonna go on to the back side here, and then the side that is completely flush is the side that will be on the inner, so that's how you want it, and that's how when you put these in the back, it'll set up. So let's go ahead and we're gonna start with the left, uh, just so that both cameras can have a good angle here for you. So uh, you'll notice here, uh, there are one, two, three, four rivets that you're gonna line up. So we're just gonna simply put all these in and just line them all up and get them in. And once you have all of them in, I kind of push this forward sometimes, we're just gonna pull back. And when you pull back, it locks into place. So right now I physically could not open it. I could not remove the uh, uh, the inners off of it. There's a little button right here on the side, this clip. If you lift this clip up, you can now push the inners back forward and take it off. So that's how you would put the inners on. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on, but I wanted to show you how to t put it on and off. So we'll just go ahead and redo this again. So just line everything up and then just pull it back into place and then come over here. And again, the points aren't gonna be in the back. Line your four rivets up and pull back and you even hear it click into place. So we'll go ahead and now actually put the outers on next and then put the server into the rack. All right, so now we're gonna put on our outers. When you look at the outer rails at the very top right here, it's gonna say front left or front right. This one is the front left. So we're gonna put it on the left side and this is gonna be on the front. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you'll notice there's pegs right here. There's two pegs on each side. So we are going to hook it in from the front and then from the back and not from the insides, which some of the older models had. Uh, so that's how you'll actually uh, hook it up. Uh, so because this rail kit is compatible with both the 360 and the 380 Gen 11, which is important to note for the 380, because it's a two, you, you wanna put it on the bottom of the ones that you wanna do. So we're gonna do number eight and nine. So we're gonna to want to install this on number eight to take up spaces eight and nine. So that's one thing I did want to note. All right, Angel, so let's go ahead and put this on number eight. And one thing I always like to say, I like to do with two people, it makes it a lot easier. If you have to do it with one, you can definitely manage it, but it's definitely a lot easier if someone's in the back to help you there. So, all right, so just like that, you literally just pop these two clips on. Now, if I wanted to remove this, there's a button right here that you just push and I can pull this back out. But literally, it's just as easy as just coming in right here and clicking it in. And if I tried to remove this right now, if I shook this, it's, it's literally locked into place. I can't take this out. Um, if you were removing this server, you do need to remove the server first to access this button right here to be able to take the rails off. But really, it's pretty self-explanatory on how to uh, put, uh, put the rails in and put them out. So we're just going to click into place. And now we're going to do the right outer rail. All right, so now we're gonna do the right outer. It says front right. We're gonna do it on number eight again, Angel. So he's just gonna pop the two in on his side. Then I'm just gonna come over here and pop the two pegs in on our side. Again, it just clicks into place. If I wanted to remove it, same button over here. You just push it and you can take it right out and then put it right back in. It's a very easy design. Uh, some of the older design of rails were honestly kind of a pain. This is a very simple, uh, which I guess is why it's called easy install, um, but it's a pretty easy uh, put together rail that you just toss right in really. So now we're just gonna take the server and slide it right in. All right, so the best way to go about doing this is there are technically some other inners inside here that we are just gonna go ahead and slide these out. And then we're gonna take our server We're gonna line everything up. And 
and it'll just click into place. So really it's a pretty simple process. And you'll notice the server is completely locked in right now. If I wanted to remove the server, you're just gonna take these two tabs, you're gonna pull them down, and the server slides right out. So if you were trying to remove this or decommission this, that's how you would take it out. And again, just clicks into place, locks in nice and firm. So hey, if you made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built, uh, brand new HPE DL380 Gen 11 servers, we would sure love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs business. We do new and we do use, and we do HPE, Dell, Supermicro, uh, IBM, Cisco. We do uh, components and full built servers. So please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com.